Hey guys, welcome back to another muscle foot anatomy video where I peel back yet another layer and dive a little bit deeper into the smaller muscles of the foot. And if you stick around to the end, I've got a bonus technique segment of my favorite approach on how to get into these tiny little muscles buried way deep down. So a lot of people believe a lot of crazy things these days, but one of the things you need to believe is how many muscles and how many layers of tissues are packed into this tiny little part of your body. There are more than 100 muscles, tendons, and ligaments that make up the foot, and those are divided into four layers. In my first video, we peeled back the first layer, which is the plantar fascia, and painted the more superficial muscles. And in this video, we're peeling back that second layer, diving down into the third layer, where these tiny little muscles and tendons are gripping on for dear life to help us stand upright. Because just like when you're sitting down with a group of your besties and you're trying to solve the problems of the world, the deeper you dive, the more you're looking at what keeps us stable. And muscles are no different. The more intrinsic the muscle, the more it's responsible for the stability of who we are. As I start shading in the muscly parts of this Picasso, I want to point out that the white things that look like a loom and I could start weaving at any minute are actually tendons of a muscle called the flexor digitorum longus, which is so long that the belly of the muscle actually lives up in the calf and its tendons reach all the way down and latch onto the toes. But my point is, the bigger, the longer, or the more superficial the muscle, the more that muscle is gonna be responsible for bigger movements, and the deeper the muscle, the ones that I'm painting underneath this stringy tendon, are responsible for tension and stability, or in other words, for holding it all together. So think of it this way. On the first layer, you've got the plantar fascia, which is acting like the bow of a bow and arrow, and every time you step down is being stretched out and put to the test. On the next layer, you've got these, relatively speaking for the foot, larger muscles that are responsible for gripping the toes down and moving the foot in the way that you know and love. And in this third layer, you've got these little tiny muscles that are trying to hold these bones together and keep everything strong so that we can actually stand on our feet. And at the fourth layer, which I have not painted in, these muscles are so tiny and tucked between the metatarsals that they're sometimes confused about whether or not they belong to the dorsal or the plantar part of the foot. A slight identity crisis? I think so. I'm about to label these tiny tissues of tension, but before I do, don't forget that I've got a bonus technique at the end of this video, so hang tight, don't go anywhere. Okay, so this is one of my favorite moves to get into those deeper muscles of the foot. I'm basically reverse pin and stretching into a positional release. I'm using my right hand to push the foot into an open position and then soften it back up. And at the same time using my left thumb to sink in, rhythmically alternating, sinking into the muscle while it's lengthening and then again while it's softening. I'm gonna repeat this with a slight modification, but in transition, I just wanna make sure everything is staying open and playing fairly. I also wanna give a little love to the convergence of connective tissue into the calcaneus because it is crazy thick right there. And then diving back in, instead of grabbing the lateral foot with my right hand, I'm gonna grab the toes. So this starts to affect not only the deeper muscles, but how they interact with that flexor digitorum longus tendon that lays right smack in the middle of all these layers of this incredibly complex part of your body. You can slow this move down or speed it up depending on your client, but the combination of movement with compression gets both the muscle tissue and the connective tissue, and in the bottom of the foot, there is just so much of both. Your client and your client's feet will thank you. <laughs> 